for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Welcome back to our series of videos on CSS. And this is part two of our video series on the v CSS box model properties. In our last video, we saw how to set the width and the height, as well as the background color, and create a simple all-around border around a div. In this video, we're going to be talking about two properties that you're going to be using extensively in CSS, the margin or spacing property, as well as the padding property. Now, you're going to notice in my CSS style sheet, the very first thing I did was I zeroed out the margin, padding, and border for all the different styles in this. So I don't have to worry about those styles carrying over into other divs. But then you're going to notice over here, it looks like I've got some top spacing here, as well as some spacing in here. If you want to zero out the block level padding and spacing, you go ahead and simply do an opening body tag, just like that, and click, and it will take off the block level properties. And you'll see that it took off the right left hand properties there. I'm going to comment that out just by putting a number sign there. Not comment it out, but just sort of disable it. <clears throat> so now that style is no longer working, and you'll see I've got some default margin on there. So I'm going to go ahead and again take that number sign out. Again, that number sign doesn't mean anything in this context. It was just a, a trick. And I'll click over here, and again, you're going to see that that margin gets wiped out. But it didn't take care of the margin on any of these inline elements like your headings or your paragraphs. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add the P tag into this. And you'll see I'm doing a multiple selector style here. This is going to affect the body tag as well as the P tag. And it's going to zero out the margin, padding, and border. And I'll go ahead and save that and click over here and you'll see that that padding, or that default padding and margin has been removed from your paragraphs. Again, I'll go ahead and delete that, and then save it, and you can see the way it looks. Again, there's that padding and margin right in there. So now I'm going to go ahead and add that back in, and you'll see that the padding and the margin are now gone. So you want to make sure that you, if you're specifying a lot of margins and padding, you're going to want to make sure that you zero out those properties there. And I could do the same thing by adding H1 there, and it will take out the, um, the margin and the padding for that tag. But in this case, we're going to leave that alone and just deal with this div here. Now, margin and padding are very different. But all you have to remember is that padding is on the inside of a cell, whereas margin is on the outside of a cell. For example, you can see here, I have this div. And this div doesn't have any margin or padding on it. But if I come down here and type padding, oops, not pathing, padding, and I'm going to make it something large, like 50 pixels. Watch what happens to the content of my div when I click over here in my live view. You see how I now have 50 pixels of padding? But I also want you to notice that that's on the interior of the div. It's not outside the div, it's on the interior. The border is still there, the background fill is still there. The only thing that's been different is padding has been added. Padding is always added on the inside of a cell or the inside of an object and it's always in between the beginning of that object and the border. Now margin is actually on the outside of a cell. So if I come down here and click and type margin 
and let's say I'm going to do 50 pixels also, you're going to see on the exterior of the cell, which now has the page color, is where that 50 pixels of padding was added. And I could change this to something smaller if I wanted to. Let's make it 20 and then save it. Click over here. And again, <clears throat> you're going to see both the margin on the outside and the padding on the inside of your cell. Now, since all I've done here, I'm going to go ahead and actually take the height command off of here and make this a little bit smaller. There we go. Now, you're going to notice that I only put one value here for both margin and padding. And what that tells um, a browser is to place 20 pixels of padding top, bottom, left, and right. So you're going to put 20 pixels of padding, or in this case, 20 pixels of margin, although I'm not up against the edge here, 20 pixels of margin around this particular box. Now, let's go ahead and change that um, just a little bit. Let's go ahead now and say we want a different amount of spacing left and right, or a different amount of padding left and right. Then we do top and bottom. Well, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to take out the 20 pixels. Now, again, if you just put in one value for margin or padding, it's going to place that all the way around, top, bottom, left, right. But I'm going to put two values in. I'm going to say I want 50 pixels left and right and 20 pixels top and bottom. So I'm going to come here into my padding property and type 20 px space 50 px. This is the value that will be applied top and bottom and this is the value that will be applied left and right. When I click you'll see that I've got 20 pixels of padding top and bottom but I have 50, or I have 50 pixels of padding left and right. And margin works in exactly the same way if I was to change this to um, 50 pixels. Again, we're going to have 20 pixels of margin all um, top and bottom and 50 pixels of spacing left and right. When I click, you'll see 20 top and bottom, but it moved it out and it's now 50 left and right. Now, if you want a different amount left, right, top, and bottom, you're going to need to put four values in here. For example, I'm going to go ahead and type 10 pixels, 20 pixels, 40 pixels, and 80 pixels. So now I have four values on the padding. And when I click, you'll see the results. Now, this is the top value right here. We always start at the top. And we're going to work clockwise. We have top, then we have right. So again, we're going clockwise around. There's 20 pixels of padding on the right. Then we have 40 pixels of padding on the bottom. And just to sort of prove to you that that's true, I'm going to change that to 90 right now and click, and you'll see again that expanded. So we'll go ahead and make that 40 again, bring it on back. And then finally, we have the left value here, the 80 pixels. So it's top, right, bottom, left. Just remember clockwise. So that's the margin and the padding properties and how they relate to um, divs and spacing them out. Also, if you're interested in seeing the high definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. When we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the uh, website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.